to be a messenger anymore, but he understood from the reality he wants, he has to go through this end time. Because nobody is going to lose anything. Nobody is going to lose any tariqah. Nobody is going to lose any shaykh. But we have to live a life in which we are connected. And in that connection, we lend ourselves to be tested. So that we can accomplish what Allah wants to accomplish. The respect and the following of guidance is not for that one. You say, why have to respect that one? Why have to listen to the guidance of that one? It is for myself. I respect him, don't respect him, it doesn't make anything from his darajat or what Allah is giving him. What it makes is for me to be tested, for Allah to be satisfied with me as soon as I lend myself into the school. Say, Ya Rabbi, I want to be under your discipline, I want to be under your testing, I want to listen and ihtiba of where I move right and when I move left so that I can enter into the oceans of taslim. Only in the ocean of Taslim that Allah begin to open the heart. So it's not important who that person is, but we lend ourselves to be under that discipline for those realities to be open from the heart. We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding that the ways is based on testing. And we should find a way in, in our life that we are constantly under testing, constantly under a discipline to put ourselves into a position of being disciplined. That way that I'm not listening to myself, but I'm listening to guidance. If the guidance is bad, Allah is responsible. If the guidance is good, alhamdulillah, you benefit from it anyways. You've entered into the ocean of taslim. If one who is submitting, there is a level of faith. When their faith is in Allah that, Ya Rabbi, I'm, I'm moving into your ocean of taslim and surrendering myself to you in the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Even they say that you gave all your money to a corrupt one to build whatever he wanted to build, it has nothing to do with you. <coughs> Whether it was built, it wasn't built, has nothing to do with you. Allah gave you the reward of it being built. Because Allah is not asking for your uh, that you verify. It means everything there's a hikmah and a wisdom that everything we do is for Allah only. And they will purify that intention. That if you do it for a person, don't do it for that person. You do it only for Allah and become the, from the oceans of Tawheed and his beloved Habib Sayyidina Muhammad. <laughs> If we do for people and want to be known by people, Allah will show us a disappointment in that, that anything you do for people will be nothing in its value. That people, they will sell you. If they sold Sayyidina Isa salam for a bag of coins, they will sell us for less than the bag, the cost of the bag. What we do is for the intention for Allah's rida and satisfaction is that whatever we're going through in our life is to enter in the ocean, Ya Rabbi, I'm accepting to be tested, I'm accepting to be under ittiba and under obedience, and that we can be raised in our darajats and the secrets are within the soul to be brought out and to be dressed upon the soul, inshaAllah. Subhanahu wa bi rabbil izzat amma yasifun. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.